Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be in question 1310, XR queries of a subarray. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by creating a new um, array where we will be storing the values of everything that has been XR'd up until that point. And that will help us to solve uh, the solution. So let's jump right in. Let's get the size of the array first. And let's create this XR array. So let's call it XR, giving it the right length. And let's just initialize the first one um, to be the first one itself. And then we have a for loop that takes care of the rest. So XR of i it would be xr of i minus 1 multiplied by um, r of i so what this does is that it takes care of xring all of the values that you've seen previously and the current value itself and that will help us so let's get the size of queries that we need to compute And then let's say for int i equals zero, um, i less than size increment of i. We also need a resulting array that would would return. This would be size, and in the end, he would just return the result itself. And in the for loop you will look at the start and the end you'll say start um q of i of zero let's just copy that right here and you would do the same for the end and this comes here and then if you check that if start is equal to zero, you would just have to um, set the result of i as xr of i. And the reason why you're doing that is because since xr keeps a track of all the values that have been xr previously, at, to that and the current value itself and the start is zero so xr of i will actually have the value that you're looking for otherwise what you need to do is res of i equals to um, xr of uh x sorry x oh sorry this would be xr of n not xr of i my bad and then this would be xr of n um xr by xr of start minus one so what this does is that it negates the value that has been xr previous to the value of l that's given which is right here so between l and r so since xr the array keeps a track of everything that has been xr till one particular point to get everything between l and r you are taking everything until r and then you're negating you're using this uh, to negate everything that you've xr before l so this is uh, negating everything that you've seen before uh before this before the start that's why we had to do this uh, computation right here so that we don't have to keep doing it every single time when we come across a new query so let's quickly compile compile this and see if it's okay oh geez uh xr of i i of zero i of one start equals zero xr of i is equal to xr of n la di da two oh right here Instead of multiplying, you're XRing it. Right, let's quickly run that. Okay, cool, it compiles. Awesome. 
so everything is good uh right so let's talk about this time and the space complexity the time complexity of the entire solution is of n because you have a for loop here and then you have a for loop here as well um even though we are creating through just one that's the reason why it'll be of n the space complexity would also be of n because we are using it an additional array to store all the values so this is the solution for this problem if there are any questions that you want me to solve on lead code please let me know in the comments below i'd be more than happy to solve them for you um and then please don't forget to like share and subscribe i would really appreciate that see you all in the next video peace